Hey everyone, welcome back. KGB Grow here. Um, this is a sub panel. Uh, this is kind of part three of the electrical portion of the uh, build up of these grow rooms. <clears throat> I installed this sub panel and I know I mentioned that there were some issues with it. Um, I'm not going to go over those issues. Uh, I, I changed my mind. I was going to show you how not to wire something, which is how this is wired. It's not that it's not like not necessarily how not to wire it, but uh, how uh, it isn't completely wired properly. Um, and there's reasons for it. But instead of going over those reasons and then coming back through and redoing it again later, I am just going to uh, when I fix my uh, issues with my main service in my house. I'm gonna do a video on that and then revisit this this panel uh, also when I rewire it <clears throat> and uh, show you how to do it the right way. So uh, at some point in time, uh, I will show you uh, um, about wiring a sub panel for your for your well, just wiring a sub panel in general. But this was, this is particularly for my grow room. So uh, <clears throat> I did want to point out a couple of quick things while I was here, though. You'll notice that uh, see the the yellow wire that's Romex. Well, these are both Romex, really, but this is 12-2 uh, with ground Romex. And you'll notice that I leave the jacket on even while it's inside of the, <coughs> the panel. Uh, just helps me to better identify later what um, hot and neutral go together. So uh, another thing I, I do uh, is I try to make sure that the panel is neat. You know as much as possible clean and tight you know uh, so you can trace wires out and it's easy for anybody to come through and go okay I see where that wire goes it goes to that group over there and yada 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 you also another good thing uh, about leaving jackets on is you can write on them and people later can write on them and they know exactly kind of what where they came from and what was going on I didn't write on these there's only a few circuits I know where they go so uh, <clears throat> Learn that uh, the circuits I did run, I might as well go over that too. Uh, I, I kind of went over it already, but basically I have a 30 amp double pole for my flower room lighting controller, uh, 4,000 watt four light controller. And then I have two 20 amp breakers, two single pole 20 amp breakers. Uh, one of these is my AC unit in my flower room. The other one is the freezer circuit that I spoke of that's also share, uh, got one of the receptacles in the vegetation room on that circuit as well but it's primarily the, the <clears throat> freezer circuit that I'm running and then I have uh, each one of these is just a dedicated circuit uh, for the receptacles in the veg in the flower and one's veg one's flower <clears throat> and this is uh, an empty spare one right now but I believe I'm going to use it for some receptacles in the area that I'm currently standing and then a couple facing out towards my main garage so um, other than that uh, I'll go over basic wiring later obviously your colored your hot wires go into the breaker your neutral and grounds go into the neutral and ground bus bars uh, <clears throat> now that I showed you how I like to uh, you know, try and keep everything squared and clean and tight. Let's go over and look at my panel, which is really where the issue lies that I have to fix. So let's go in the house real quick. Sorry about the mess. I'm kind of cleaning up, <clears throat> moving stuff around. Well, you know what's going on in the building. So <clears throat> I'm going to be opening that wall up to give more room for these uh, the laundry room here. <clears throat> but basically, you guys see this? This, friends, is an example, uh, aside from the wires coming into the main breaker there, uh, whoever originally put this in, uh, that's about how you need to do stuff like that because that's aluminum wire and it sucks to bend. But anyways, uh, you see how messy this is, man? Terrible. 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 But somebody put this wire in and didn't even... Thank you. Anyways. This panel <clears throat> is getting fixed. There's no ground. Somebody has taken, removed the ground wire that goes to my water, my main water pipe. And they also removed the uh, ground rod uh, wire as well. I don't even know the ground rod was at. So I'm going to be actually installing a new panel. And it's not going to be going 
right there. It's actually going to be going in this wall over here where this stuff is. Uh, and at that time, I'll ground everything and I'll do a video on it. And then I'll do a video on rewiring the sub panel that is over in the garage and grill area. So. Cleaned up a little bit here last night to get around. There was a table sitting there. I don't know if you guys noticed it. It's over there now. Uh, sheet rock for the rest of the project. And I believe that's it for now. I'm going to stop this here for this portion of the electrical. Um, make a couple more videos today. And then I'm going to finish off the room and start moving uh, stuff out of my tent into the flower room. So. Hope you guys enjoy. If you got any questions, uh, put them in the link or in the uh, comment section. Other than that, hope to see you next time. Peace.